the white shooter, mass shooter, is always, was he mentally ill? Right. Deranged, right. loner, lone wolf. The Muslim killer is always a terrorist fueled by ideology. I always say, if you believe the view of Muslims presented by some in the media, we're immune to mental illness. It's kind of cool. Right. We have some inbuilt immunity. We can't be mentally ill. Right. We're just kind of ideologues. But if you look at the coverage, Joy, the coverage, the word terrorism is not used for people who are not Muslims. That's the problem. We've been conditioned to believe that a terrorist attack is only an attack carried out by a brown dude with a beard shouting something in Arabic. Right. Well, of course, the statistics show otherwise. The ADL says that three quarters of the terrorist deaths in the United States over the past decade were carried out by far-right domestic white nationalist terrorists, a quarter by Muslims. Can we say that the media coverage of terrorism in this country is 75% white nationalist, 25% Islamist jihadists? Not of course. In fact, Georgia State University did a study. They found that a Muslim terrorist gets four and a half times as much coverage of his crime as a non-Muslim terrorist. Right. Four and a half times. Well, think about the killer in Las Vegas yeah. who gunned down hundreds of people. It's hard to even remember him. He's gone. It's no hard one talks to remember. about him anymore. No one talks about well, here's, him. Here's a statistic for you. The Georgia State guys found that a non-Muslim terrorist has to kill, on average, seven people more than a Muslim Muslim terrorist to get equal coverage as a Muslim terrorist. Yeah. That's, a, that's a hashtag media fail. And I'm always reminded of that old viral tweet that terrorism is one of the only areas where white people do most of the work and get none of the credit. <laughs> and it's, the credit. A, it's a real problem. It's, you know, this, and it leads to racism, Islamophobia, it leads to fear on the part of communities of immigrants that, you know, that's where the terrorism threat is from brown people, from foreign people, not from the terrorism threat in our midst. Even when you have Dylan Roof shoot nine people, kill nine black people in a church And in then get a, a nice meal of, uh, of, uh, of burger yeah, surprise. doesn't get charged with terrorism, doesn't get called a terrorist. Alex Fields uh, killed Heather Hare in Charlottesville, doesn't get called a terrorist, doesn't get charged with terrorism. Uh, Robert Bowers, who killed 11 Jewish worshippers in the synagogue last year, doesn't get charged with terrorism, doesn't get... Shooter. Shooter is the word used, right. used in the headline. Yeah. Not terrorist. And look, I have a problem with the whole war on terror discourse to begin with. Sure. But let's be consistent. Just make it consistent.